Sarah and I have made our way up to beautiful Woodstock, Vermont for today's ride at Mount Peg. But on the way, we had to stop off and get as many maple syrup products as we possibly could to fuel the ride for today. We also ran into a gaggle of alpacas, a, a flock of alpacas when we were out there. I have a loving heart. <laughs> I have to be careful. <gasps> at me. Oh. Oh, that took way too long. <laughs> What'd you say? Way too it fast? It took way too long for it to come yeah. down. Oh. oh. <laughs> it felt like a rough landing, huh? Clunker. Had a few people recommend Woodstock to me, so we're gonna check it out. I found a route on Trail Forks that looks like it does the good stuff. Let's fumble through it. The dirt is looking heroic. We've got a cool breeze and Sarah, you're looking good. I was gonna say we have a congratulatory plate cheering us on. Thank you. I'm getting my hopes up. Yeah. I know it's a dangerous thing, <laughs> but the way this is built and how nice it is. And how great the dirt seems. Oh, so nice. And how much Celine Dion I have stuck in my head. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. When you touch me like this. The Woodstock Area Mountain Bike Alliance is doing the good work out here. Thanks, Wamba. Or is it Wamba? <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. I like Wamba. And apparently the Woodstock Inn down the street also helps them maintain it. Cool. Private public partnership. That's great. Now we're going up Schist Creek without a paddle. Whoa. Or are we going down it? Whoa. It's a roller. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> nice. Oh, a stream. The creek. It's the difference between a stream and a creek. Oh, I can't even begin to tell you. Oh yeah? But I can tell you that I just turned 40 and I've got some nutritional holes in my diet that need to get plugged up. And instead of worrying about it and thinking about it, I'm actually doing something about it with today's sponsor, AG1 by Athletic Greens. This is my new morning routine. I drink AG1 on an empty stomach first thing in the morning to get the day started right. I've been doing this for about a week now and I can already tell the difference, especially with my gut, my digestion. I've used probiotics in the past before, but that was a chewable tablet. And then I wanted to use a multivitamin and it's a pill that's hard to swallow. And then I would have a powder and then I would have a, a chewable gummy for something else. It's like five different things in four different places. AG1 is one thing, one drink. In the morning, you're good to go. My biggest worry with AG1 was the taste. After suffering through different powders and pastes and goops, all in the name of nutrition, it just, it breaks your routine if you're not looking forward to it in the morning. I look forward to this in the morning. The tips I can give you is to put some ice cubes in it or keep it as cold as possible and then shake it up while you're drinking it. The more you shake it, the better it tastes. It's just one scoop or one packet like this in 12 ounces of water and you've got a ton of vitamins, minerals, nutrients, adaptogens, and probiotics. There's a lot going on in one little scoop. And if you had this in the past, that drink back then is not the same as this drink right here right now because they are constantly iterating. There's been 52 revisions to AG1 over the past decade. It's one scoop, it's one minute, it's once a day, it's every day, it's AG1. Head on over to athleticgreens.com slash BKXC and you'll get a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs with your first order. Stop worrying about your health and start doing something about it. They're doing good with the signage out here. I appreciate it very much. The QR code for Trail Forks, thumbs up. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> 
You don't like it? It's stuck on your camera now. I'm gonna have dandelions grown out of every part of me. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Woo. A root shook me up. She got carried away. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Wah! Oh. That was fun. Just a little berm there. Oh, I guess I, I see why they said experts, because if you wobble at the top and then you fall over, that would be unfortunate. Yeah. You'd be done for. You're done. <laughs> your challenge for this trail is to not use your brakes. Uh oh. Use your body. Dig into the turns. Okay. You got to use your brakes eventually, but. Yeah, a little bit. See what you can do. I don't know anything about this trail, but. <laughs> <laughs> so you're setting me up to die. <laughs> Just thought it would be a good exercise. Yeah. Did it seem like I was using my brakes a lot on the other trail? I mean, just in general, that's, you know. Yeah. That's the best person in the world doesn't use their brakes somehow. Yeah. Because that's how they're faster and corners better. Yeah. Uses their brakes at the right spot. Yeah, that's always been my challenge. That's Ever everyone's challenge. Cross country, like right here. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Nice. <laughs> That's a hard right. <laughs> oh, hard left again. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> NBA. No berms allowed. You wouldn't have had a wife if I hadn't used brakes up there. <laughs> <laughs> you bring the whole maple tree with you. It was. <laughs> it's oh, so pretty. Yeah. It's a tree of the mountain bike breaks. It wants me. How'd you like it if someone picked the apples off of you? <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Got cocky. It kind of rolls, but kind of doesn't. Totally. I accidentally made a cuss word. <laughs> I'm so scared. That's the first time I've heard you cuss on the trail. <laughs> yeah. I think I would have been okay, but it just wasn't what I was expecting. Totally. It's really hard to process things so fast. Woo! <laughs> no brakes. <laughs> That's only for you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we just gonna text all day get on the tiktok zoomers what's a zoomer generation z i'm not a z don't you know me do you know my name what's my name <laughs> fellow millennial i am a fellow millennial i don't know the snapchats or the i I know all the other ones, Snapchat's the only one I never caught on to. TikTok, love it, gotta have it. Yep, everyone, there's a joke on TikTok that everyone who's not on TikTok thinks that all it is is teenage girls dancing, but it's not. <laughs> it's the secret to life. <laughs> counts as a berm. Yeah. Woo. Whoa. Yeah. Woo. Survived. I had to go high and then I fell down. <laughs> oh. uh, 
Should we check? I think that's just the way people accidentally go. Oh, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Nice! <laughs> that route was nasty. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Ooh. There's a berm! <laughs> That's a good oh, berm. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Caught my front reel! This one's the most fun so far! You did good, Charlie. <laughs> yes! Nice! Yeah, that Ooh, was awesome. That was awesome. Really good humps. I just had to keep the momentum yeah. going. I did the same thing. Out of control. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, I wanted it. I really wanted it. We go back and do it. <laughs> Woo! Wow. <laughs> yeah. Launched it. Yeah. Whoa. Caution! Whoa! My eyes are watering! Wow! From all that speed! Okay. I think we're hmm, at a golf course. Just felt my first tick of the season on me. It was big, I actually felt it. Usually. You don't feel the dang things crawling around. Yeah. Now we're on the trail of fallen women. Oh, God. <laughs> Down she goes. <laughs> That's my acting. <laughs> the trail of pushing our bikes up. I think it'll be worth it at the top. Ah, get out of here, tick. Get. And you just rolled around in the grass. I immediately regret <laughs> this decision. <laughs> 40 or 50 of them on you. Yeah. If we don't see a moose on this trip, I'm gonna be livid. <laughs> you saw two ticks? Isn't hey. that enough for you? Oh yeah! Woo! Light on the brakes! <laughs> nice! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't have enough speed for yeah. <laughs> these things. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Woo yeah. So like bike park style. Yeah, it is. Oh, right. Uh, we're fine, we're fine. I think. Through here? Uh, yeah, left here. Oh. <laughs> Intersection from okay. hard style, I think. Woo. Yeehaw! Sir Berm's a lot. That's what we want? Yeah. Okay. I thought that was Sir Berm's a lot because there are such good berms in it. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I have an itch, but I can't itch it or I'll crash. <laughs> That's Woo! the worst. 
Mind over matter, mind over matter. That's where the ticks get you. <laughs> I haven't seen a berm yet. No. Ooh, switch back. Oh, got the itch. Whoa. Yeah. Love little turns like that. Oh, I feel like I just can't keep enough speed around those. Yeah, not like cloud drop. Yeah. Sir turns a lot. That was fun. Well done. Cloud drop was more fun. And then Charlie's and some other one after Yeah, Charlie's. James and yeah. Smiles. That yeah. was a good little thing. Exactly. And the uh, constant flow was okay. Yeah. But yeah. we kind of got, oh, like took a while to get over there in uh -huh. the Schist Creek. Oh, yeah. 13.7 miles. Nice. Big old thing. That's fun. Yeah, a lot of pedaling, but a lot of payoff for yep. it. Yeah, good job, coach. You're my inspiration. <laughs> you gotta do this. You gotta get better. <laughs> oh no, I did not hire a Boston coach. You're gonna eat fire and poop thunder. <laughs> We just had an amazing meal. We're too lovey-dovey here. I, uh, it's, it's gonna freak people out. We just had an amazing meal at the Worthy Kitchen, up the road, down the road from uh, where we just were at Mount Peg. So good, best chicken sandwich I have probably ever had. And then you had a salad. Salad. It was, it was, it was okay. Yeah. The, the chocolate cake made up for Then we it. had a bomb cake at the end and that was the bomb. super good. Well worth the stop. And uh, everything's expensive now, so we can't complain about prices, but it was expensive. It is actually cold. The sun is starting to set and I'm very surprised because the temperatures are up and down. We got very lucky today with mid 60s, no problem. Tomorrow's gonna probably be colder, a little rainy maybe. And then the weekend it's gonna be 90s, but we're gonna be back in Boston by then. So ups and downs and the swings of the temperatures and we got more. We got more from Vermont. We're heading north and uh, until then, do me a favor, go ride something new. And, and maybe, maybe we'll, we'll see, see on the trail. On the trail. <laughs> and maybe we'll see a moose. Yeah, hopefully. Fred wants to see one. Please. Cut.